Welcome. So good to see you again. As implied in our last brief communication, Darth Arcus is at the center of a grand conspiracy. Arcus had the Jedi Temple raided to acquire knowledge of Rakata technology that he could use to harm the Empire. Even now, he plots against us. There a price on his head yet, or what? This is still just between us, Hunter. No one else in the Empire knows what we do. I've followed Arcus to a secure undersea laboratory here on Manan, where he's working with a Selkath geneticist on something. I've been trying to learn more. I've also discovered that Colonel Darrock secured passage to the same laboratory. He was behind the Republic's raid on Korriban. Dark Council members make for attractive targets. This Derek might be ending the Arcus problem for us. As you say, he's our problem. Meaning we need to resolve it ourselves. We must confront Arcus in that laboratory. As I said, it's a well-protected facility. You'll have to make your way through heavily armed Selkath and dismantle their security grid. You're not coming? I'd intended to confront Darth Arcus myself, but I sense a presence here. A potential ally. I'll remain in touch and let you know how my search progresses. May the Force be at your service. Jakaro! My most sincere apologies for his outburst. Please don't leave us here to rot! I implore you! I'm guessing you two have no choice but to stick together. I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence, Queen Lena of Onderon. And this is my current master, the renowned illicit transport specialist, Jakaro. A smuggler, in other words. Jakaro was hired, quite innocuously, by a Selkath geneticist named Garima. We delivered a large shipment of perfectly legal medical supplies here to this facility. Imagine our consternation when Garima then had us imprisoned and interrogated most harshly by two awful creatures. <coughs> So it's true. Darth Arcus and Colonel Derrick are working together. Is that significant? That's why they pay me the big credits. We shall endeavor to hurry and regroup with you at our earliest opportunity. You must be Garima. Time to talk. This hoge is so hard to test Lisa. The hard way. Nemvog King Avila Gito Turko. Latate hata mogot a. Care to tell me where your underwriters are? Mine gin retet neste ahoje hatal al alasonak oraban. Hosu idol kera stulas elva lasto as bot a hatasa. Amun kaja kostunk vot ahoje mar imlik ete valahol. Eves tob ere ni as igrit. Lein parnata feder zetin. He mustn't get another chance to betray us. Shoot him already! Karima could still be of use to us. Put your weapon down. I'm not gonna repeat myself, Chikaro. How very unexpected. This is the potential complication you sensed. 
No, this is not my advisor, but rather an associate. It would appear Benico laid out a convincing case that I'm up to no good. Was she lying? Make your case for how you're not betraying the Empire with this Derek person. No, oh, I am most definitely acting against the Empire's narrow interests. But what I do is not for ill, it is for the future of this galaxy. Sorry to cut this short, but since we have everything we need... Pod's almost secure, but not quite. You're with the Republic, aren't you? That's right. I'm also saving your lives. You got a problem with that? Just get us out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Hurry! I wasn't built to survive the crushing depths! <laughs> okay, all set. Climb in and enjoy the ride. Welcome back. Once again, you've displayed a skill and determination that few possess. I've seen worse. Perhaps I should make proper introductions. No need to tell me who I'm addressing. I'm Theron Shan, Republic SAS, and your new ally. If you'd like to join the Empire, I could put in a word. I'm oddly flattered. Not even going to consider it, of course, but flattered. The way we were fooled by Darth Arcus, the same happened to Theron except with the Colonel. And between what you found down in that lab and what Lana and I pieced together, I can tell you they're both traitors. Arcus and Derek are in league with a dangerous movement, a shadowy cult known as the Order of Revan. The Order of Revan's no secret to me. I had a run-in with them on Drum and Kass. In an earlier incarnation, perhaps. They seem to have grown strong and bold, very bold. The Order of Revan used to operate in the shadows of Imperial space, but now their ranks include at least one major Republic figure. That means I can't trust my people and Lana can't trust hers. Present company excluded. And if the Revanites are building an army of cyborgs... This is Jakaro. And I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence Queen Lena of Onderon. Hey, Jakaro, how would you feel about helping me track those two down? <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it. Lana, will you be joining us? We don't yet know how deep the Revanite's influence runs. I must learn what I can from within the Empire. You've done well here, as expected. We'll speak again soon. Our work here is done. I was about to send out a search party. Sorry, I had to confirm some things before coming to see you. As I suspected, the Order of Revan as it once existed is no more. A bit of a shame, really. 
The Revanite's pragmatism may have been anathema to the Sith, but there was something appealing about it. You should know that I was made a Revanite. After crossing Darth Arcus, I doubt your membership stands. Not that the Revanites of now resemble the group as you understood it. The Order of Revan, as it stands now, doesn't wish to change the Empire from within. It aims to destroy us completely, and the Republic along with us. I've not yet learned why or how, but Theron Shan might. He appears to be rather good at his job. Good at his job or not, he's not bad to look at. If you say so. I've been too preoccupied by our state of affairs to notice. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? What do we know about Colonel Derek? Like Arcus, Derek held a great deal of sway. With the two of them combined, there's no telling how many are secretly working for them. I should get to my investigation. Whatever Arcus's Revanites and their infinite army has in store for the galaxy, it can't be good. May the Force ever serve you.